how can we sum per month? And furthermore, how can we add another criteria? Here, basically to the left, I have a data set about a sales report, where I have date, product, sales, quantity, and uh, the customer name. Basically, I want you to know how much I just sold for each one of the months that I have from January to December, for example. But despite of that, I also want you to know about uh, the product. So basically here I have two criteria, two conditions. The first one is the month and the second one is the product, for example. To do it, we can use the equal sign sum ifs function because the sum ifs function allow us to use as many as criteria as we need to. Here I have two, month and uh, the product. Let's start doing the sum ifs function here. Let me double click here in this function to select one, two, okay. The first thing that the sum ifs function is asking me is about the sum range. What is the sum range that we need to use here? As I want to know the total sold, I need to select as the sum range, the, the, the sales column here, so the column C, for example. I can click here, okay, now I can press comma, and uh, my next criteria here is going to be the criteria range number one, for example, first criteria range. My first criteria range can be the month, for example, so I want to check uh, all the dates that match with the January month, for example, because it's the first month that I have here, January. I can select here the first column date, but I actually have a problem here. I know that I have the, the complete date here, so for example, January 1st of 2024, okay, I know that. I have the month, the day, and also the year, but how can I tell the sum ifs function that this date right there is actually January, or I mean Jan, for example. How can I tell the sum if function this? I can't. So before we do the sum if function, we need to use another column to extract just the month from this date that we have. And this is what I'm gonna do here. So we're gonna just ask here this function. Uh, and uh, in the column F, for example, I can click here, equal sign. Now we're gonna use the text function, text. Double click here, one, two. With the text function, we can extract just the month from a date, for example. As the value, I'm gonna use the date itself, comma. I want to extract the month, for example. So we're gonna open quotations, M, 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 three times the letter M. Close quotations, quote, unquote, close parentheses, enter. We're done. This is the month that corresponds, that match with this date that we have here, January. If I just click here in the down right corner of the cell and drag it down, we can input this function to all the rows that we have here. Like this, for example, and we done September, August, July, and so on and so on. Now we can use the column F as a criteria, for example. Now we can come back here and do the equal sign sum ifs function again. Now it's gonna work. The, just double click here, one, two. As the sum range, as we just saw before, is my column C, the entire column C. For example, I can either select just a range like this, or I can also click here in the C letter to select the entire column, for example. Comma. As my first criteria range, I can select, let's say, the column F. I can click here. Comma. And because we select my first criteria range as the month, I need to actually use the first criteria as the month to match, okay? So January, I just click in the cell, comma. Now the sum is function is asking me my second criteria range. My second criteria range can be, let's say, the column B. So I click here in this entire column B, comma. Now I can input here my second criteria. There's gonna be tablet, for example, but I can change. So it's dynamic. I can also change to smart TV or headphones or so on and so on. Close parentheses and just one more thing that we can do here before press enter. This K3 cell right here that uh, corresponds to my criteria here, the product, I need to actually click here in the selection and press F4 key to lock the reference because the way when we click in the down right corner of the cell, hold and drag down, this cell right here, this range is gonna stay in the same position, it's gonna lock the reference. And this is what we need to do here. So F4 key to add the dollar sign before the letter and after the letter, and then enter. Now I can click here in the down right corner of the cell and drag down like this, for example, and we're done. And now we have the total sold per month and by product, for example. 
And I, if I change it here, so let's say I'm going to use a laptop, for example, laptop, enter. As you guys can see, the values are automatically updated for me. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Some ifs function with the help of the text function. If you have any questions or any suggestions to the next videos, let me know. Comment down below and I see you tomorrow. As everybody has a new video, I see you there.